Hey guys. So today's day two of the coordinate plane and we are going to learn how to graph points on the coordinate plane today. But before we do, let's do a little bit of a do now. I want you guys to write the ordered pair for each point on the coordinate plane. So there's four points, A, B, C, D. Pause the video now and try to write the ordered pair for each one. Okay, let's go over our answers. Point A, remember x-axis comes first and then the y-axis. So when we write an ordered pair, we need the x-coordinate and then the y-coordinate. So first you're going to count either to the right or the left, and then you count either up or down. So A is 1, 2 to the left, that's negative 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4 up, that's positive 4. So point A is uh, negative 2, 4. Point B is we count all the way to the left out here at negative 8 and down to negative 7. So point B is at negative 8, negative 7. Point C, do we count to the right or the left for point C? No, it stayed right here in the middle. So that's 0 for the x coordinate. And then we went up 1, so that's 1 for the y coordinate. So C is 0, 1. And point D, we go 1, 2, 3 to the right. And then we go down, so that is going to be 3, negative 5. This is a little bit of a review from what we did in our last video. Make sure you guys understand how we got those answers, and if not, please let me know. So today we are going to go backwards. Instead of me giving you the points and you telling me what the ordered pair is, today I'm going to give you the ordered point and you have to plot the point in the correct spot on the coordinate plane. So let's do a couple of them together. Um, let me grab my pen here. Okay, so point A. I want it on the location 3, 8. Well, again, let's remember that x comes first, and then the y-coordinate comes second. So in this ordered pair, the x-coordinate is 3, and the y-coordinate is 8. So I need to go 1, 2, 3 on the x-coordinate, and now I have to go up to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There is point A. Point B is at negative 2, negative 5. So my x is negative 2. Here's 0, my starting spot. I'm going to go 1, 2. That's negative 2. And then negative 5 for y means we go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is point B. Point C is at 4, negative 1. So I'm going to count... My x-coordinate is positive 4, so I go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4 times. My y-coordinate is negative 1, so I go down 1 time. And I land right here, coordinate C. Point D is at negative 5, 0. Okay, so x is negative 5. This is going to be my x. 0 is going to be my y. So one, two, three, four, five. This is negative five for my x-axis. Now, if y is zero, do I go up or down, or do I stay right here in this neutral spot? I stay here. So the point is right on the line. This is point D. And then finally, we have point E, which is going to be at negative one, positive seven. So for my x, I go to the left once, and then for the y-axis, I go up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there is point E. So make sure when you do this, you pay attention to which coordinate is for the x-axis and which one's for the y-axis. You always go left and right first. We always do x first. Then you can go up or down. That always comes second. Okay, so I just want you guys to try a few problems by yourself here. Um, so in a second, I'm going to have you pause the video, 
and I want you to plot each point in the correct location on the coordinate plane. Do this in your notebook, and then when you are done, click play so that you can check your answers. Okay, point A, negative 2, 6. That would be negative 2 up 6. Here is point A, and this is in quadrant 2. I didn't ask you to tell me that, I just wanted to point out that this is quadrant 2. Point B is at positive 4, positive 9. So we're going to go positive 4 to the right, and then up 9 for y, and there is point B. Point C and D have those zeros in there, so they're a little tricky. Remember, x comes first. So this right here, oops, sorry, this is my x, and this is my y. So x is on 0. So if I'm starting in the middle, where do I go for 0? I don't go anywhere. I stay right here. I don't go to the right or the left. Now for y, if it's negative 3, I go down 3. So 1, 2, 3. Here's point C. Point D goes the other way. First we're going to go to the right 5 because 5 is the x coordinate. So if I'm on the x axis, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But then y is 0, so I don't go up or down. I stay right here. There's point D. Point E is at negative 2, negative 3. So we start at the origin and we go 2 to the left. And then 3 down. There's point E. And point F is at positive 7, negative 4. So again, I go back to the origin. I go to the right 7 for positive 7. And then I go down 4 for negative 4. One, two, three, four. Here we go. And there's point F. So this is what you're going to be practicing today. If you need any help, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you later.